Hi everyone, this is Nicole from Altenew. In this video, I'll be walking you through and giving you a closer look at our Build a Flower Lelia stamp set and how to stamp each individual layering. This has 20 different individual designs that you can layer on top of each other and add as a additional elements to create your flower arrangements. Make sure you check out our stamp packaging. Our stamp packaging all have trifold inserts with pack full of great in design inspirations, project inspirations, and color choices, along with a detailed layering guide. Before we get started, I like to stamp my brand new stamp set with our stamping conditioner eraser. You just go over the area with the eraser and just rub your eraser over the stamp surface to remove any shine. This allows inks to be um, held onto the stamp easily and better, giving you a really good ink impression. I'm going to start with the uh, largest, which is our outline image with jet black. And we're going to start working on our flowers first. Our flower petals are coming in several layers. I'm starting with A2 in pink diamond, and we're going to focus on the bottom portion of the flower first and make sure the matching points are found within the outline images. This one is A3 layer, and I'm stamping it in pink alicious. Next, we'll move on to A4. This covers both bottom portion of the flower and the top portion of the flower. And this one is being stamped in rubelite. All of the colors I am using are shown in the layering guide that comes in your stamp packaging. So make sure to refer to that if you want to have a written color choices. The center of the flower are uh, layer A5, and this is stamped in fresh lemon. I stamped layer A6 and A7 for the top portion of the flower in Razzleberry and also Cosmic Berry. Now we're going to move on to our leaf and stem area. The first layer is B2. This is stamped in Grass Field. And then we're going to make sure it lines up within the outline perfectly. And then next one is B3 layer stamped in Mountain Pine ink pad. This comes in two parts, so make sure you get both portion of the B3. After that, we're going to do a tiny bit of stem where it's folded and the inner portion uh, of the stem or the leaf is showing. That is layer B4, stemmed in butternut. And with the sentiment that comes with it, this finishes the whole layering look of our Build a Flower Lelia stem set. There are tons of great project inspirations. Make sure to check out our website at www.altenew.com and let us know if you have any questions. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching.